Days after a chase ended in this North Minneapolis park and critically injured two children, we now know more about the pursuit that preceded it. It was extremely fast. If I had to estimate, 50, 60 at least. Zaylor Stout, who caught a glimpse of the chase with his phone, isn't surprised to hear that, according to the criminal complaint, the vehicles reached 80 miles an hour and ran 22 stop signs. They flew right by the stop sign right behind me. Later, as he approached the crashed vehicle, Stout noticed the driver hadn't stopped. The police officers jumped out and started chasing him. But when I walked across the street is when I saw that they actually had him in custody. 27-year-old Kabar Powell now faces two felony charges of fleeing, resulting in bodily harm and misdemeanors, including a gun charge. Um, it's just tragic that his careless and criminal driving resulted in serious injuries to these two children. Today, Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman also questioned the decision by troopers to chase. I think it ought to be reviewed. People's lives, like these kids' lives, are a lot more important than catching this guy, in my view. The officers involved are now on paid leave, which is standard during an investigation. One of the officers, the one here that opens his door, was really upset. You could hear him yelling and, you know, hitting the car. Though Zaylor would like to see the chase policy reviewed, he says his bigger concern is the same one he had that morning, the innocent kids caught in the middle. When they were transporting the child from the ground to the gurney, that we heard a cry. That was helpful so that people there knew that, I mean, at least they were conscious. And that's where everybody's concerns really should be, hoping that they're able to make a full recovery and then we don't end up losing any of them. According to the complaint, a two-year-old boy broke his spine and pelvis in that crash and had to get his spleen removed due to internal injuries. His four-year-old sister suffered numerous injuries to her chest, hip, and elbow and had bleeding near her brain. Randy. All right. Thank you, Kat.